deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May, whether you need tax... And we're back rate. here at Miller Field, and here comes the next pitch, swing and a miss. He'll be in there for strike one. And boy, Frank's not giving us any time, man. He is... Uh, <laughs> Nick Pinnell at the plate. So Nick Pinnell's got his first strike on him. Here comes the second pitch. And that sit that one, Matthew. Let that one go. And that thing had... Man, that thing had a, came out of a cannon, <laughs> and I'll be in there for strike number two. Quickly, he's down 0-2. Swing and a miss. That'll be strike number three. Quick work of Pinnell. That's going to bring this tar top of the lineup. This is Steven Yancey. And he here comes down the struck pitch. out last time. That one's going to be in there a little bit low for ball one. One ball and no strikes. Yancey. This is where Ro I mean the chamber wants to come alive because they got some of their best batters coming up. Here comes the pitch. Top of the lineup. And that one was close, but it was in there for ball number two. Two balls and no strikes. Important batter, if they can get this out with Pumphrey coming up. Even if Pumphrey hits a home run, it's no big deal. Here comes down the pitch. And Ooh. this one's gonna be foul. Foul ball, but hit hard. Yep. Good play by the first base coach over here, Mr. Johnny Powell. Oh, that will put a strike up there. Two balls and one strike now to Yancey. Matthew Hart now winds up. Here comes the pitch. And, boy, that was a close. That will be ball number three. But all these are now getting very, very close. Three balls, one strike. Yep. I can't see the batter very well. I believe I'd be taking it here, to be honest with you. Yep, here comes the pitch. He swung and away. He swung away, and that would have been a strike, though. It should have been. It looked like it was right down the middle. And the count goes full. Three balls and two strikes. All right, full count now is, is the thing to Yancey. And that one's going to be in there for ball number four. So Matthew walks this runner. And now the tying run is at the plate. Yep, and tying run at the plate is Drew Pumphrey, and he hit the ball last time. Matthew really had needs a, to let this one go. Here comes down the pitch. Had a double. And a changeup. And they throw it. And they're going to throw Nobody. it second. And they're going to try to double play. It doesn't work, but they get that runner, a lead runner out at first. And a nice field play infield by the Rotary team. Very lucky. It was a too slow roll, and we almost would have had two. Good that's, job. Good that's job. That's right. What happened is Matthew threw a changeup of all things. And, slow coming off yep, the bat. And it's just slow coming off the bat. Here comes the next pitch. Yes. He swung this one in there at Rocket Speed. Be a foul. That one was about chest level, maybe a little bit chin level, <laughs> and he chopped at it. And that why that thing went down. <laughs> Strike number one. He don't want to put it back in there no more than Logan Powell either, because he is a good high, high, high ball hitter. Just a little slow on that one was Logan. And Pumphrey gets on again for the second time tonight. And Logan. Here comes down the next pitch. And a changeup by Matthew Hart and caught Logan Powell way off guard. He swung that pad, and the ball hadn't even got there yet. He was looking for oh, fastball Lord. all the way, no doubt about that. Now Matthew, <clears throat> now Matthew can play with, with him a little bit. Here comes down the next pitch. And that one went way down in there. And Pumphrey stays Humphrey's put. Pumphrey's ready to go down second base on that he one. Stay, he stayed put. So we got one ball and two strikes. Matthew Hart now winds up. Here comes out the pitch. That was another changeup. And Logan kind of gallops down. Oh, my goodness. He kind of gallops <laughs> down second base. <laughs> Yeah, like let's just, let's just you. say he got there, and that's all that matters. He kind of slipped in the dirt, so to speak. Matthew now with a pitch. That one's going to be low, and that's going to bring up full count. Full Matthew's, count done again. Throwing, Matthew's done throwing three balls right in a row. <laughs> okay, important, important pitch coming up yes, here with is. two outs. Yes, it is. Here comes down the pitch. Oh, my goodness. Matthew can't believe it. That thing was well. He yeah, whatever he walked him, <laughs> so it puts him on first and, and second. Now? And that's gonna be Dalton, isn't it? Yes, sir. Ryan Doolin Dalton. Here comes the next pitch. 
That one's going to be high. Matthews done thrown four balls right in a row. Joshua Cabron's Yes, he has. Runners on first and second now for the chamber. I'm just saying he just hadn't got into a rhythm tonight. Now nope, that one's way low, and that got Everybody's going to move. Everybody's going to dance, and they may have him out at. Oh, they got him out at. I mean, got him safe at uh, third base, but that was close. Close play, close play at third. However, so anyway, I just Matthew just not in his groove. I don't know whether it's the batting is, is is messing. You know, he's overcompensating probably with the throws, trying. You know, now that was in there for another ball, and it's in the dirt, and it went to the wall, but nobody will move. That's three balls and no strike, and he's coming up what? Four balls, six balls in a row. Throw six in a row, and I'm gonna tell you, I don't know what the coach is gonna tell him here, but if if he was playing for me, he'd be taken all the way. Here comes now the pitch. Matthew with runners on second and third. Oh, and hit. a hard hit ball. It goes Foul. down to third. I mean, the first base, but that's going to be an air for strike number one. <laughs> no, Matthew just ain't got into a rhythm is I'm what it tell. is. Oh, man. I cannot believe he, he did not take that pitch. Oh, me too. Three balls and one strike. Here comes down the next pitch. Swing and a miss. It's in there for strike two. Yeah. And here comes one of the most important pitches of the game it's coming good. up here. And the most important pitch at this point, I'll put. Rotary leading two to nothing, but they got runners on. Chambers got runners on second and third with two outs. Swing and a miss. Strike number three. And he got out of that inning. No runs. Two left. And we're going to the top of the fourth. Top of the fourth. No runs. Two to nothing. The Rotary is still hanging on to a lead. And we'll be right back. This is your Southside Sports Network. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone. So I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2 megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll give me the car for free if I find it for cheaper. So I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew. the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. We're back here at Miller Field. John Hart with me. I'm along with Barry Moore doing the color commentary. Robbie Hart's on the computer doing the switching. And I'm glad for you all to join us on www.wpexonline.com and the Southside Sports Network. Glad you all tuned in and listening to exciting Little League Baseball coming to you from Blackstone, Virginia. Dixie here at Miller Youth Field. Baseball. Dixie Youth. Yeah. Not major, major league. No, Dixie no, Youth Major no, League. You said little league, and we don't want to have any. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, I, yeah, I will. I get, <laughs> I you, if I yell little league in front of these guys out there now, I'd probably get mobbed. That's right. <laughs> this is Allende Meredith, John. He'll be leading things off here for the Rotary. Center and fielder. Now, and now being here for strike one. Well, again, we got to be patient. Here comes the left hand there. Ryan Dalton throws it. Comes up way short being there for ball one. One ball and one strike. So one and one is a count. Yende need the Rotary would like to add to that two run lead that he got here in the fourth inning. Top of the fourth. Here comes now the pitch. And this foul. one's gonna be a foul back. 
single. And Ooh. that hit the top of the white elephant. And we're going to go. Robbie's going to go check on. I hope that's what it is. <laughs> Well, the camera's still working. No, I don't think it hit the elephant. I think it hit something else right there. I hope it won my car. <laughs> okay, one ball and two strikes. It comes down to pitch. Ooh! Ooh! Hit Meredith, and he is hurt. He is hurt. He hit him. And he's getting up there. Well, yeah. this ain't the first time old Meredith has been no, hit. Last, look, no, last, year, last year he got hit about four or five times. Yeah. You know. But that puts a leadoff runner on first base once they check Meredith out. And this is going to bring up Justin Harvey. Yeah. Meredith will probably have tears in his eyes on that one because that was a hard that was a hard hit. He's a tough kid. He ain't got no yep. tears now. He's a tough kid. But let's see if they'll. Yep, here he comes. Ian Day, Meredith. Ian Day. Then they say, "Yes, I'm. A, what do you mean? I'm all right. I'm all right. Leave me alone." That's right. Well, anyway, this is Justin Harvey. Charleston Harvey is up. Left hand. Now they need to be patient with uh, with RD. RD is getting a little bit wild on his pitches now. Every run's going to count, and here comes down the pitch, swing and a miss. I'm like you. Right I don't know who they'll go to if if he cannot continue. Well, I mean, they'll 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 probably have to close out with Pumphrey. I would imagine. Here yeah, comes the next pitch, so. and it's a beautiful bunt. Beautiful bunt down, down to first, first base, base. and. Got it's it. going to be safe. They safe. called him safe. He is safe at first base. Infield bunt advances the runner. Beautiful play. But that was that's close, though. It's going to bring up Bobby Mac Williams. I'm going to say this tie goes to the runner. Yeah, we'll, but folks, that we'll, was close. we'll go that way. Let's just go that way. Let's go that way. Okay. That was going to be in there for ball number one. Regardless of Bobby McWilliams steps in with two on and nobody out. Here in the top of the fourth. Rotary's got some speed on board. Swing and a miss. Strike number one. One and one now is the count. But they got both Meredith and uh, Harvey on bases. Here come the pitch. And it's a nice little butt. And let's see what they're going to do. They're going to try the third base. They're not going to get him. He's Everybody safe. And Rotary with no outs and will load up the bases on the back end of their batting order. And they're using the small ball, per se, to do it. They're not hitting the ball, putting the ball in play. And advancing the runners. Now, I don't know if Chambers just asleep out there or what because nothing has come out there. Well, in a I'm going to be time. honest with you. You know, you don't usually see it in this to, to bunt like they're bunting tonight. Have to hands off to the coach. Brandon Parrish is up to it at the top of the lineup with no outs. Here comes Ryan Dalton. Now winds up. Here comes the pitch. That was going to be outside. Ball number one. If you notice, Drew Pumphrey, which is playing shortstop right now, he will, uh, every time with baseball, he'll come in and back. He did that with the All-Stars last year. He will back his uh, pitcher up. You watch. It. And now a time is called, and you might see a pitcher change here. Probably so. They don't want to get, they, they can't get much farther behind. You're right. Now, if you're on Rotary, if you're, on a, uh, if you're looking at Rotary, Rotary needs to get some extra runs on there. And the reason why, because remember, this fourth inning will be the last uh, last hurrah for Matt Hart. Oh, really? He's yeah, Matt Hart after the fourth inning. So fifth and sixth inning, they're going to have to bring in probably uh, they'll either bring in. Uh, uh, they used to bring in Josh Vaughn. You think that's well, who they're bringing this time? Well, I'm not sure if they're going to bring in Josh. Or they Peyton. Might, or they'll probably bring in Peyton Lawson. The reason why, because Peyton Lawson and is that Peyton Lawson is a type of pitcher. That does throw you off, and he's a great someone to bring in between the two bat uh, right, between right. Ryan. You know, bases loaded, no outs, one ball. Here it comes out of pitch, and it's a foul back. I'll be in there for strike number one. A road, but these guys have got to be patient. I mean, they've, yeah, they do. I'm not saying take everything, but if a pitcher is is frustrated up, make him throw strikes. A base hit, regardless, here will score at least two. Here it comes out of pitch. That one's going to be high ball, two and two balls, and one strike. Don't want to walk a run in here either. See how Pumphrey, see how Drew Pumphrey comes in and backs that every time. Drew Pumphrey he is, is a, a good very little. sound, fundamentally baseball player. Yes, you don't he is. see that. In, I mean, all right, here comes a, he a wild comes pitch. No runners will run, and now bring up three balls and one strike. Very and, sound. And this is going to be interesting because. 
because right here, it, uh, a walk is going to put a, a run up on the board. No outs. Here comes now the pitch. Ryan Dalton, the left-hander, looks. Here comes the pitch. That was going to be in there for strike number two, and that brings the count to full. And now he's got to protect the plate. Brandon is very capable of hitting it out of this park. He's done it before. But not only that, regardless of the situation, he still only, he needs a double play here. Here comes now the pitch. Here's the pitch. And that was going to be low, ball number four. And that's going to walk and in And that's run. exactly what Chamber did not want to do. Not with uh, Bond and Hart you coming might, up. You might see a timeout here. And he might be changing pitchers. I think it's time. I, I, I think it's time. Now they're going to keep, they're going to keep, uh, they're going to keep uh, RD in there. And now it's three to nothing. Here comes the pitch. Hard hit ball. And that's going to score a couple of runs. It goes out to left field. Here comes uh Kinde is going to score, and we got two's going to score. So two now, score, two RBI double for Josh Bond, and that makes it four to nothing here. And it brings up the Cobra with two no, on. Peyton Lawson is up. Oh, Peyton Lawson. Yeah, Peyton Lawson is up. Cobra's on deck. That's right. Okay. Peyton Lawson. That's right. Runners on second and third. It's still no else. Second and third. Here comes now the pitch. And that's a hard, hard hit ball, ball to foul down right first base. Right in front of the white elephant, and nothing but, going on there. But, That'll but be they're there starting to tee one. off now. Yep. Well, I think two things. I think Ryan's getting a little bit tired. And how many pitches have Ryan Dalton has thrown so far? 80-something. 80 82. 82. He is at his limit. And actually, his limit's right around 60 pitches. And so he's 20. But I don't think, like I said, the, with the game with Legion tomorrow, that's why I think they're saving it there. You know, the other two pitches for uh, Chamber. <laughs> and now Ryan walks off the mound. Looks a little bit disgusted right now. Outfielders are playing back. Here comes out of the pitch. Hard hit ball. And that's going to get through again. It's going to go all the way to the center field. Okay. Ball is uh, in. Hits Brandon the will score. Man. Josh Bond will score. And now it's seven to nothing. And now here comes Matthew Hart. Two runs scored on the single. And like you said, it brings up the Cobra. Cobra has been. But he's been 0 for 2 today. 0 for 2 today. So we can see what happens. Here comes down the pitch. That was going to be way inside for Matt. And that's going to be in there for ball one. I mean, and he will go to second easily. And that's going to be. What does he have one and one up on the scoreboard? It's one ball and no strikes, I believe. And now here comes a timeout. You might see a pitching change here. Then again, yeah. on the other hand, I don't know. Well, let's see what they're going to do. Now they're going to bring in Pumphrey. They're going yeah. to change pitches. So we're going to be right back. they got to change uh, stuff. And we're going to be right back in just a few moments right here on the South Side Sports Radio Network. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew. the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. The best stuff ever. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2-megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. Right. Back here at Miller Field, I'm John Hart, along with Barry Moore and Robbie Hart, and, and uh, we've got Heather Hart, 
up there on the top of the white elephant. Got well, a pitching change. A new pitching change. They're going to pitch to the uh, Cobra, which Drew is going Pumphrey. to be Drew Pumphrey. And I tell you what, though, um, I kind of had a feeling they were going to change on this. I didn't think they were going to change this actually this quickly. Um, to be honest with you, I think that, well, with no outs, I think that's, that's why they're doing it. Anyway, one and one is, a, is the count with a Matthew Hart. That one's going to be in there for uh, ball two. Well, one thing, too, CeCe's got to play tomorrow. You know, they've probably got to save some anything they can. Two balls. I think it's one strike on the Cobra. I didn't think he struck anything. All right, here comes down the pitch. That one's going to be low, ball three. And there goes the runner. Uh, to third. Peyton Lawson will go down to third base and no, another no one in throw. scoring position. So what will they... They put Matt on. Here comes down the pitch. Three balls and one strike. Here comes the pitch. And that's going to be ball number four. Matthew is going to get on base. For the first time tonight. Yeah, first time tonight. He gets on base on a walk. <laughs> ben Inch is up. Inch, yep. Just about any, any, anything might score that runner on third base. Yeah, just one for two tonight. Got runners on the corners, first and third. Matthew will be going on this pitch, I would imagine. I would imagine so. Yeah, in fact, I just saw the steal sign, so he'll probably be going. Here comes the pitch. That's a hard hit ball. Matthew shoots down to second base and but it's got to come ball. all the way back. He hit that ball hard, though. Fine. So one ball and one strike here. It's seven to nothing now, Rotary beating. Come here. Kind of beating up on Chamber a little bit. Here comes now the pitch. That you, you and that one's going to be a now ball number Matthew two. Goes. There goes Matthew. He goes down to second base, and they're not going to try nothing against that. And that will be one ball and one to the right. <laughs> Punt free now. Look for Chamber. Winds up. Here comes the pitch. Hard hit ball. And that's going to go all the way into left field. Will almost go all the way to the fence. Another go. run will score. Matthew Hart will score. And it is a double for Two for run Mr. double. Inch. Oh boy, what a two run double for Inch. I told you Inch has been hitting the ball great lately. He's been well, he's been hitting the ball. He's been on base. Um but the but the story is how the bottom half of the the lineup for the road is really doing the damage. And that's what's gonna be fouled back. This is Allende Meredith. No, no that's not Allende, that's uh, Thomas Parrish. Thomas Parrish. Now being there for strike number one. Here's the thing. One more run, it's gonna be ten to nothing. Yes, it is, and that would do it, and that would. Uh, okay. Well, I no, they got the last. They got back. last ups. Yeah. They get last ups. Last licks. But the thing is, if you're Rotary, this is a dream come true. Right. Because, you know, you don't have to pitch out Matt. Exactly. So in the anyway, we got no balls and two strikes. On Mr. Parrish, here comes down the pitch. A change up does not drop in there. That'll be in there for ball. That'll bring up ball number one. One ball and two strikes here at the top of the fourth. It's nine to nothing so far in favor of the Rotary. They have no outs runner on third base. Swing and a miss. And he didn't want to really swing at that one anyway. That'd be strikeout Puts number one. That's the first one. out of the inning. Yep, and that'll be the first out. And that does bring up Allende Meredith, who was hit by a pitch. Oh, everybody be ready for that slow curveball. And does. Doesn't seem that long ago, as a matter of fact. They yep. batted around then. Yeah, that's right. Nice, nice pitch in there. Big last inning last, last inning. Nice pitch in there. Allende for a strike Meredith. number one. Here comes down the next pitch. Like that said, one's going to be at the knees. That'll be an air for ball one, yeah, one ball, and one strike. It's like you said, John, though, this would be the tenth run. At, is it the ten, number ten run is at third base. So. Here comes down the pitch. And that one's going to be way down there at the knees. I'll be in there for ball number two, two balls and one strike. These are the guys you do not want to walk. Okay, here comes now the wind up. Here comes now the pitch. And that one's going to be in there. Ball number three, three balls and one strike. So and you don't think they're going to bring the Cobra out to finish this game out? Sure, I would. Yeah, I would too. Oh, yeah. I mean, why not? not? You don't have to play a game anymore. That's right. So you definitely wouldn't want to pitch him, you know, unless he gets so wild. But, I mean, he's, 
it, it comes well, the next pitch, get, ball number four. Yeah. And now here comes Harvey. Yep. So now Harvey will be up to bat. He's the left-hander. He scored once tonight. Yeah, on a walk. One out. Yende on first base. He walked. He got hit the last time. Walked this time. Swing and a miss by Harvey. That'll be in there for strike one. No balls and one strike. And still have him on the corners here. Still looking for that, is a, that ball was is hit. Swung a little bit late. And that thing went foul. He almost knocked one through the fence to the to the chamber crowd is actually. But that'll bring up no balls and two strikes. And two on. So here comes down the pitch. And that'll be strike number three. And, that'll, and that will take out. That'll be out number two. This well, is going to be Bobby McWilliams. So here comes now. This is, according to them, Josh Tiller. Here comes now the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. There goes Meredith down second base. And no that'll, throw. Put, that'll put runners on second and third. Right. Still what? One out, two outs? Here comes down the pitch. This one's going to be low. Ball number one. One ball and one strike. Well, actually, you know what? If this game did end a little bit early, if they got that one run, and it did end earlier, this would be good for Chamber, and I'll tell you why. No, they wouldn't now, have to give up no pitching, and they wouldn't have to get a little, get out of here a little early for the more rest, I guess you might think. But Well, uh, my, no, what I was kind of <laughs> thinking, one ball and two strikes now, by the way. And um, But anyway, here comes the next pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. And I'll tell you about that when we come back in just okay. a few moments. This is the Southside Sports Network. We'll be right back after these messages. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, Call the accounting surgeons today, 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. The best stuff ever. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2-megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. And we're back here, and this is a kind of a thing. They're going to bring in Josh Vaughn now that's going to be pitching here in the fourth inning. And I think I would have left Matthew in for another inning. I don't know why they didn't. I mean, unless they just want to get Josh to work. You know, Josh didn't really look that strong the last time out. You know, he had started off shaky. Well, Robbie, what is uh, what is Matthew's numbers now that he, uh, that he had today? All right. Robbie's trying to, he don't have a microphone, but we're going to have to get him one. Anyway. 58 pitches. 58 pitches. 32. And a shutout, actually. Yeah. Here comes down the pitch from Josh Bond. High ball one. But I think I think it was too early in the game, actually. I mean, Matthew's been keeping everybody shut it out here. here comes this the is next Josh Go Bronson at the play, Mike. Yep, that's going to be high. This is what I was worried about. One of the things that, I mean, fifth inning is one thing. I don't understand it either. I yeah. mean, he should have kept Matt in. for. Your mama said it's time to go. Here it comes down the pitch. That was going to be ball three, three balls and no strikes. 
And this is what you don't want to do here because then you're going to have the top of the lineup coming up. Now, you, now they can catch up real fast. And you have no pitchers. That's right. Other than uh, uh, Peyton Lawson. All right, here comes down the windup. Here comes the pitch. That's going to be an air ball for... And he walked. Walked the first batter. Yep, walked the first batter. And that's going to bring up Stevie Perkinson. Here comes now the pitch. That's going to be in there for ball number one. So he's throwing five balls in a row right now. Right. We've got one ball and no strikes. There's a hit. Hard hit ball. Right up the and middle. Right up the middle. Right into center field. Yep. The center field. And he gets past, gets past And, and he's going to be run, run, will score. And they're gonna, now they're going to hold him nope. up. They're going to hold know. him up, though. I don't know why they didn't send Josh on that, though. Matt Hart will be catching. Two on, nobody out. But boy, what a difference a pitch will make. Man, oh, man. Well, now they're in scoring position. And this is Graham Wilkerson. Here comes now the pitch. In there, ball number one. So that's six in a row he's pitched. Hasn't his pitched a strike yet. Josh needs to find that center part. Here comes now the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Josh gets that first strike. There's the first strike for yep, him. So maybe he can get going at this point. One ball and one strike. It's nine to nothing. Chambers threatening to score. Here comes the next pitch. Way low. Ball two. Now you can hear Randy says he can't hit a strike. Three balls and one strike. Here comes now the pitch. Josh Bond winds up. And he went for that one. That'll be at least a strike for. He showed bunt, but he. Yeah, he showed bunt. And that's a strike. Plank. Yep. So it's two and two now is the count. Rotary needs to get this out. Here comes down the pitch. And that one's going to be way outside. Ball three, full count. Wow. Walk here will load up the bases. Yep, with no outs, I might add. Here comes now the pitch. And this one's going to be a pop-up. And it's going to both Josh is going to throw it at home. Nobody and why did he do that? Yeah. Why in the world did he do that? Oh, no. Just wasn't thinking. You get the first one. Now it loads up the bases. Still no outs. With no outs. And that Chambers, brings up height. Yep, Chambers is going to have all their main batters coming up. It's a boy, oh, boy. Actually, he could have just let the ball go foul. But... It's easier for us to stand over here and yeah, say it's that. E yeah, it's easier for us to sit there and second guess, especially after the play. That's right. Okay. Bases are loaded. Here comes down the pitch. Swing and a miss. He'll be in there for strike one. And I think Jamie went for that one. Why, why aren't they not waiting on these pitches? Hey, man, any base now. No balls in one strike. Here comes down the pitch. That one's way low. Ball one. One and one is a count. And that's probably what he was thinking about last time. He just, he thought, you know, everybody would be running. And, you know, it just didn't work out that way. It is. It's going to be right in the hole. That's going to drop in for a base hit, and that's going to score two. That's going to score two. And I'm going to tell you, buddy. It's going to be close. Baffy won't be able to get him. Not in time. And let me tell you something. That is probably the biggest hit of Mr. Height's life right there. Yeah. Big number 22. Mr. Height delivers and scores how many? Two? Well, now here comes Randy Webb. Who's two going to be talking to Josh Vaughn already. Two RBI single for Mr. Height. And I know his great-grandma would be mighty proud of that, Miss Edith Height. Yep. Well, now it's 9-2. to two. They got two back very quickly with no outs. Still no outs. Yep. And how many on? One, two. Two still on. And what's more important, important excuse me, well, they got Nick Pinnell at the plate. But that's going to guarantee that at least to see Drew Pumphrey and perhaps Logan Powell, the top of the order, coming up. You see, the thing is, I mean, if they can knock it out of here and a home run is going to put CC right back in his ball game. All right, Josh Bond now winds up. Here goes the throw. That's in right. there for strike one. First strike that he's actually pitched. It went down the middle. And maybe Josh can find that, find that uh, center there. Runners on second and third. Here comes the next pitch. That one's low. That will be in there for ball one. 
This one is, ball and one strike. This is a Nick Pinnell at the plate. So one ball and I'm one strike. I'm surprised Height hasn't already gone down to second base, but um, here comes now the pitch. Swing and a miss. Now being there for strike number two. One ball and two strikes now. I know they don't, might not want to try the Cobra's arm behind the plate there to run the second, but uh, with the run. And a change up by, and, he, and Josh Bond gets his first strikeout. First big out. And that is a big out. And that's going to bring up Steven Yancey, the leadoff hitter. And he has singled and struck out today. And they broke the plane now being there for strike one. Runner will go to second base. So anyway... Call That's, it a strike there. Yep. I'll be in there for strike one. What's the count up? No balls. One strike. Here comes now the pitch. And that ball high. That's going to be in there for ball one. One ball and one strike. But there is one out. Oh, he swung at the first one. So one and one is the count. Randy's trying to get strikes any way he can. Here comes now the pitch. Way low. And that's, that's going to be in there for ball number. No throw. I mean, uh, ball number. I mean, ball number two. Two balls, two balls one strike. One, strike. one out. Marotary. Steven Yancey steps back in. Yep, kind of on the defensive right now a little bit. Here comes the next pitch. Ball high. That's ball number three. Three balls and one strike. Oh, actually, that was ball that's four. That's ball excuse. four, yeah. Yep. And that's going to bring up Drew Pumphrey. Well, that's good. Load the bases up and bring up your best hitter. There you now. go. Drew is two for two. And that's going to be in there for yeah. ball one. Inside a He's back. already had a double and a single tonight, has yep. Pumphrey. I'm telling you, I don't think I would have took the Cobra out, man. <laughs> All right, here comes down the next pitch. Oh, swing. And that was a foul back a little bit. They'll be in there for strike one, one ball, and one strike. Drew is thinking hit here, buddy, all the way. <laughs> yeah, he's not taking anything. I can tell you that now. He's he's looking hit all the way. Here comes down the next pitch. That's ball high. They'll be in there, ball little, two. Little and there is having, they're having a terrible time throwing strikes right now. Well, when it starts to... The wheels start to run off. It's like one lug nut on each side. You just pray the others hold on, but it ain't working yep. for them right now. Now in there for another ball, ball three, three balls and one strike. Three balls and one strike, and we got the bases full still? Yep, bases are full, and this is going to walk a run in. Mm -hmm. Josh now looks. Here comes down the pitch, and that's going to be in there for pitch. strike number two, so – Full count. He needs to get this one down there. The trouble is you can't play with him. No. You know, you've got, you know, you've got to bring it down the middle, and this is when the ball can go right out of this park. And here comes out a pitch. Swing and a miss. And a, what a big strikeout. Big out. Big out. Oh, my goodness, what a big strikeout that is. But it doesn't get any better because it brings up Logan Powell. And he's been And he's due, per se. And there's a hit. The ball that's going to be foul ball. Foul ball. Looking up here, Logan has walked and got out the first time up. So he is 0 for 1. No balls and one strike now to Powell. So here he's, comes the he's pitch. due, so to speak. That one's going to be high, ball one. One ball and one strike. Matthews there catching. Here comes the next pitch. Ball. And that was a curve ball, but that brings up another ball, two balls, and one strike. Okay, bases are loaded, two outs. Here comes now the pitch to Logan Powell. Swing and a miss, and that brings up a very important strike. And this is going. This next one is going to be, this strikeout could be very, very important. Here comes now the next pitch. Oh, that was close. That brings up the full count. Full count again. Now, I didn't see what the pitch looked like on the video, but it was a little bit high. Three balls and two strikes. Full count. Base is loaded. Here comes the pitch. And that was outside. Logan that is not going to swing in a bad pitch. He's a very fundamental ball player well, as well. Been playing a long time, been an all-star every year. He's also played travel ball. So he's, gonna, he's not going to swing in a bad pitch. And that's going to bring Ryan Dalton. Base is loaded still. Here comes now the next pitch. He's pitching the ball hard. The problem is. He just ain't getting there. Yep. 
Not where they want it anyway. Anyway, one ball and no strikes. Here comes the next pitch way high. And now it's going to be two balls and no strikes. And the thing, too, in their favor is they know he's throwing balls. So they're not going to jump on anything. He has got to be – it's got to be a perfect pitch now to get a strike for him. Yep. Because they're not – That was a high yeah. once again. That's an hit ball three. And Randy may have to – you know, I mean, what I would do here is I would walk – if this guy walks – here comes the next pitch. That's going to be fouled back. Back on this. That'll bring in one, another run. That'll bring it four. But you may have to, you may have to start bringing in. You may have to bring in Peyton. Thinking about Peyton Lawson coming in. Well, you almost have to because with bases loaded. But what you want to do is get these. You want to go in, if you have to walk, walk a good player. Right. I mean, walk an, an excellent hitter. I mean, they're all pretty excellent hitters, but you know, and he's going to do that. Well, the trouble is. He's going to have to call. I would find Randy had called timeout at this point. I think I'm going to have to bring maybe, in Randy. Maybe you have to go in and put on your coaching hat there, Coach Hart, and make, make a decision here. Well. <laughs> Regardless of, a run does come in. Rotary, I mean, Chamber is coming back, and it's all on walks. and Nine to four. Yep. They're all there. All they're halfway back right already. Josh Grohl Bronson will be the batter when they do come back, and he has. Had a base on balls and scored. So the only thing I can think of that they took Matt out is because he's out of innings. But I didn't think he was out of innings the other night. I, I don't. I know that I don't. I'm not aware of. Or the other day. But right. I, I I would have pitched him one if he had four. He'd have pitched four for me. Anyway, that's going to be in there for another ball. Ball one. But Josh is just having a hard time finding his target. Well, Josh had a you know Josh had a hard time the other night. I mean they yep. ended up winning, but he. he he never. Now there's a strike. He fight. never developed a rhythm, and they had to bring in the Cobra then. So you know he. Not knocking the young man because he's an excellent ball player. But uh, he's having his problems tonight. Yep, that one's way outside and low. That being it for ball two, two balls and one strike. And like I said, he's got to throw. He has got to throw a perfect pitch to get a strike here. And if he throws the perfect pitch, he's going to probably get hit. So I mean. That one's going to be in there for ball three. Three balls. And they're going to have to make a change. Full count still, though. And all of this is with two outs, pretty much like it was last. For the ball number four, and they walk and walk another run in. Full count. Oh, full count yeah, now. Pitch a little bit lower, buddy. That's all right. That's all right, buddy. Full count. Here comes down the pitch from Josh Bond. Swing, Swing and a miss. Strike three. Oh, boy, what a big out that was. <laughs> that ends the inning. But they score four, four big runs for yep. the chamber here in the bottom half of the fourth. And we got us a ball game, Mr. Hart, 9-4. to four. This is the Southside Sports Network. We'll be right back after these messages. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew. The accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. The best stuff ever. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2-megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll give me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. Okay, back here at Miller Field, I'm John Hart, along with Barry Moore. Thank it's, you, John. It's uh, 9 to 4, and uh, as uh, Chamber is starting to come back, and now Brandon Parrish will be up for the rotary. I see her. She's right there. So here it comes now. Top of the fifth. Drew Pumphrey now with a pitch. 
and a hard hit ball. All the way and to Brandon the wall. Gets all the way to this is going to be at least a double. Here comes now the pitch. The ball and, and uh, all the way to second base. He needed to get that ball in a lot quicker then. Yep. He kind of gave up on it. So now that will bring up Lead off Josh double. Vaughn. Lead off double for Brandon Parrish. Like I said, we'll bring up Vaughn, uh, Mr. Hart. Here comes the next pitch. This one's going to be low ball one. Mm. And once again, you know, I, I can't go, stress what I was saying earlier. But anyway, here comes now the pitch. Hard hit ball. That's going to drop in. And they're going to score. Brandon Parrish, he's going to come in. And he will score with another double. And that's Peyton Lawson. Double and an RBI out. for Bond. Yep. He may be having his troubles with the pitching arm, but he's definitely not having any problems at the at this dish, I'm going to tell you. What is he? He has been crushing the ball. Important runs now for the Rotary. Four for four. four, for four. And that will be bringing uh, Peyton Lawson up. Here it comes down to pitch. This one's going to be low ball, one. And how important is this? Well, this brings up Lawson. He's yep. one for two. Said earlier. Um, Here comes now the pitch. And this one's going to foul back. Gonna be I'll be in there for strike number one. As we just said, uh, Josh is four for four at the plate. He's crushing the ball. Having a little problem with the pitching, but um, I guess you can have problems if you're going to go four for four at the dish. Here comes now the pitch. A changeup and a hard hit ball right at to the, the second base. Basement. He bobbles it and he's safe. They're going to bring Everybody Josh Vaughn on in, and he is going to score. And already, two runs. That's going to run two of them in. That's going to be eleven to four. And that's going to bring up and that's bring Matthew up, Hart. Yeah, Matt Dakota Hart's going to come up and see what he can do. He's been struggling as of late at the plate. He did walk last time up. Peyton Lawson on first base. Here comes so now the pitch. He's due. This one's going to be low. Now be in there for a ball one, one ball, and no strikes. So, Drew Pumphrey now looks and lines up. <laughs> Runner on first base. Here comes down a pitch. That one's way low again. He ain't giving Matthew nothing to hit. Now be in there for ball number two. Two balls and no strikes. And now they're going to have a little conference. Pitcher and catcher are going to talk it over, but they're coming back. Go ahead, Mr. Hart. Well, one of the things that they got Matt on, uh, not the time they walked him, but the time before, is they got him out on the changeup. A little changeup, yeah. Yeah, it was on the changeup. All right, here comes now the pitch. That one's going to be inside, ball number three. They're pitching him inside, outside, you know. They're, but a walk is going. A walk is not going to hurt him as much as yep. anything with right now. But so, I have a feeling Matthew should be taking here three and zero. So here comes now the pitch. Here comes the wind up. That one's going to be low ball. No, they call it a strike. Call it a strike. <laughs> Drew Pumphrey better be careful with Matt, not to toy with him too much. That could have been a three and zero count. You know, going he, here he, it is. If it's close, it's going to be a strike. Man, that one's going to be a swing and a miss. Oh. In there for strike number two, and the count goes full. Rotary got those very important two runs back, though. Here it comes down with a pitch. And I got him on a changeup. They Again. got his number. It ain't, I mean, I don't know. Is he wearing his contacts, Coach? I don't know. He should be wearing them. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. But that ball, in all fairness, man, that ball was out of the strike zone. He reached for that. And um, uh, he's a better hitter than that. We know that. And there's a hard, hard shot. shot. To well, the third base gonna, side, but it's... And they're going to try to run him in. They're going to try to throw him out. He will make it, no problem. Run will score. And boy, RBI he, double. Yep. Four. That was Bob. That's Inge. That's Inge has been on a roll tonight. What is Inge? He's got uh, two doubles on a single. Yes, he has. It's two, Three for four. So it's 12 to four. Here comes down the next pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. And Mr. Inge is making some noise for All-Stars early here. Yes, he is. You better not be talking about All-Stars, I guess. But uh. Well, that's all right. Swing and a miss. I'll be in there for strike number two. Runner will go to second. They will not get him. He stays on third. This is Thomas Parrish at yep. the plate. And Inge goes to third. 
So one out, they got another run in scoring position, so they almost got three three of those four runs back. Right. So we've already got two of them with one out. Right. Here comes now the pitch, and it's a changeup. Foul back, strike number two still, no balls, and two strikes. Well, you're going to be going to the bottom of the, the fifth here. Yep. Who do you pitch? <laughs> here comes down the pitch. And it's a hard hit ball. Right and it's going to go to field. Lee Wap tries to throw it, and he is safe. safe. And a run was going to score. I think, yeah, that'd Ian be 13-4. to four. Making it 13-4. to four. And there's a Yende Meredith. Here comes down Allende, the pitch. The center fielder. That's going to be in there for... Is that a ball or a strike? Is that a ball? Yep, ball one. Allende, he's had a single. He's been hit by a pitch. Been on twice tonight so far. All right, here comes down to wind up the pitch. That's this low. one's going to be low. Ball number two. And Drew Pumphrey's having a hard time hitting the mark a little bit now. Came in in a tough situation, too. Two balls and no strikes. Here comes the next pitch. This one's going to be low. Ball number three. And I think one thing, he's not taking his time. He's throwing the ball rather quickly. He's not getting set. He's just he's saying, I want to get this ball across. I want to get it over. You know. And that's going to be ball number four. Yende's going to get on base. And the trouble and with that is when you do that, you don't get him out. You just, you just, you know, you're rushing yourself. And he's all, he's walked here. That's exactly right. That's true. And this brings up Harvey, the left-hander. Runners on first and second. Here comes a pitch to Harvey, and Harvey gets one, and that's going to go to third base. He's going to try to go, and yeah. it is going to be out at first, and Good that will play. advance the runner around the third base. And he did his job. Mr. Harvey did his job. He just got out. He advanced that runner to third base. And it's still 13 to 4. And this is Bobby Mc... No, this now is... Now being there for strike one. Yeah, this is Bobby McWilliams. So no balls and one strike. Here comes out no, a pitch, swing and a miss. I'll be in there for strike two. No, according to this, this is Josh Tiller is what they're saying outside. Here comes a pitch. Foul away. Foul back. And one of the things... The back of the lineup is doing quite well for the Rotary as, as, as well, too. They did it. Oh, yes, same thing happened right. Tuesday night here when they beat the Lions. It's hard for you to imagine that uh, in the last two ball games that they've done as well as they have, and Matt Hart has not delivered at the plate like he has been. Like you said, um, I think you said he struck out three times, but I think he got, you know, he had that, that the last time up he – Hit that mile high thing and it dropped. And he got on. Well, that's going to be strike number three. Now it'll be strike out number three for him, and that's going to be tired solid. And that's going to do it at the for the end of this inning. And it's 13 to four. This is your Southside Sports Network. We'll be right back. Brought to you. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2-megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. What does your world sound like? That's geography. The music of the world around you. Geography is people, places, environments, and economics. Geography gives us the framework for understanding our world. But sadly, our kids aren't getting enough of it. Half can't locate economic powers like Japan and India, and 20% can't even find the Pacific Ocean. That's why we created My Wonderful World. Okay, we're back here at Miller Field right here on WPEX. Swing and a miss. Be in there for strike one, one ball, and one strike, I think. This is Stevie Perkinson at the plate. 
John. It's and a nice pitch there. That's coming in there for strike number two. Maybe Josh, is, that hit might have calmed him down some. Maybe he's going to pitch now. Well, now's the time. Here comes <laughs> down the pitch. And There's a, a hard, hard hit ball. And that into one's center field. Down. Gindy lets the ball all the way to the wall. And he's going for three, John. All the way, standing up. And he's there for a leadoff triple. Mr. Perkinson starts things off with a leadoff triple here in the bottom of the fifth. Well, and that's something that uh, that was a, you didn't want to see. Yeah, that was an inside fastball. <laughs> that's going to bring up Graham Wilkerson. Here comes out a pitch. There you go. That was in there for strike number one. Graham has got a base hit tonight. One for two. No balls in one strike now to Wilkinson. Here comes down the pitch from Josh Bond. And this one's going to be high up. Will they get it? And Josh Bond misses it. And they're going to call it a foul because he didn't touch it. Thank goodness he didn't. Kind of reminiscent of the play header. Right brought the guy in third, probably brought him on in. Well, if they bring in if they bring in Lawson, I'll tell you what they'll do. Swing and a miss, strike number three, and they struck him out. But if they should need to bring in Lawson, Matt will come and play first. Josh Bond. Go to catch him. That's going to bring yeah. up height. Well, no, Josh Bond's already called for Matt. Well, he'd probably go back to catch then, though, because who else would catch? All right. Well, he can't go back. Once you're, once you're in a position, once you're in that position, you cannot go back. That's pitching. That's not anybody else. He can... Here comes the pitch. Oh, that one's going to be high for ball one. One ball and one strike. No, that's with everything. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, you can go into a different position back into a game, but you cannot go back into the same position. Here comes down the pitch. Swing and a miss. I've been here for strike number two. Here's some, here comes some important strikeouts, though. He needs them. Runner on third base. One out. Here comes Josh Bond now with a pitch. And that's going to be strike number two, oh, ball number two. Two balls and two strikes. That was close, but it looked a little bit low to me. Here comes down the next pitch. That was going to be outside, ball three, three balls and one strike. And what I think is happening here is Josh, is a like he likes to pick the corners as like Matt does. And what's happening is these guys are waiting on it. Swing and a miss, strike number three, an important two outs. Let's bring up Nick Pinnell. Um, he is over two. Here comes now uh, Josh Vaughn winds up, and that's going to be foul back for strike number one. Nick hanging, get a piece of it. He is 0 for two, as we said tonight. So he's new due, let's see. Josh Bond now winds up for the rotary. Here comes the next pitch. Foul, foul back, back, strike number two. And, boy, one strike, one more strike away. We'll end the inning. And we'll end the inning with a runner ready to score. So he would go with a scoreless inning if, if uh, he could keep this from happening. Lead off triple for not here. So here comes down the pitch. A, a change up. Hell way short, strike number three. And that will end the inning. And we're going to the top of the sixth. They had one, had a lead off triple, but that – Gotten them nothing, no runs, one hit. Well, nobody left at the end of five where it's here at the Southside Sports Network is Rotary 13, the Chamber 4. Going to be right back. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today, 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew. the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. All right, turn the mic up. 
Powering up, and we're back here at Miller Field. I'm John R. Long with Terry Moore, Robbie at the controls on the switching the camera, Heather on top, and I hope she's not texting and she's staying where she's doing. Uh, right here, the exciting Dixie Youth Major League Baseball here in Blackstone, Virginia. What better place to be on a Friday night than Miller Field? And we do have a pitching change. Oh, really? This is going to be number 12. Okay. Let's see. Um, now, this is going to be an interesting thing. Well, uh, <laughs> this game is, I'll tell you what, I'm though. You, this this game is, is we've, we've seen some surprises. Well, now that tells you right there. Right there, they're, they're thinking they're, about they're pitching saving, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, what they're doing. Yeah, they're they're thinking about pitching tomorrow, and they're also thinking about they didn't want to pitch. Um, uh, they didn't want to pitch Logan Powell. All right. Logan Powell. I don't know who's going to be starting pitching tomorrow. My guess. But they do got all three. Yeah. They do got all three of their pitchers though. Right. Got That's some the, innings anyway. Yeah. No, she she knows. Is they got to go up against that Legion team with um, with the guy, uh, Thomas Parrish, and not related to this, but this guy can pitch real good, and then we'll just have to see what happens. Thomas Parrish is playing for um crew team? Yep, plays for Legion. Yeah, I had him in basketball. He's an excellent athlete. He also plays on a Richmond team in travel ball. Yeah. I did not think. I thought he missed too old, but now the people tell me he's not. No, so, you he, know. He, no, he could have played. Ba I was hoping he was going to play basketball with us this year. He played with us last year, but he was playing middle school ball and basketball, so he didn't play basketball. I'm still, like I said, we got a new pitcher here for CC. Well, I don't know anything about this guy. None at all. Who is he anyway? <laughs> Do you know who he is? Number 12? I think it is Yancey. Oh, maybe. Let's go, Brandon! Well, Brandon Even Perry. Yancey, I believe, is who it is. If Brandon. I'm wrong, I please forgive me. Come but on, uh, the younger ones I know better because I see them a lot at school. So. Here comes now the pitch. That one's going to be in there. Ball number one, one ball, and no strikes. Well, I'm sure we'll know who it is before the night's over anyway. <laughs> Now, number 12, a right-hander. Here comes, comes set. Here comes now the pitch way high. Whoa. Ball number two. Sail over the batter's head. <laughs> here at the bottom of the, uh, to the top, top of the, the six. six. Yeah, top, top of the, of the six. six. This is definitely, I think, a learning experience here for the this pitcher, Coach Powell and Coach Pumphrey. And now be strike number Ball number three, three uh, balls. Trying to see and somebody no here, what they might have. Now bring up Josh Bond afterwards as, if he walks this runner. So Yancey in there for the chamber. Here come now the pitch. He winds up, and here comes the delivery. That one's going to be way inside. All four, and every he will walk, and now bring up Josh Bond. Who is four for four tonight, I might add. Four for four. Well, you get up there, get last up, so we'll go the whole game no matter what. Here comes the next pitch. And this one's going to be foul back. And that's going to be an strike. strike one, yeah. <laughs> Josh Bond just didn't get the whole battle on the ball. With no outs, though, Brandon Parrish on first base for the rotary. Peyton Lawson will be on deck. This has got to be Stephen Yancey. Here comes now the pitch, and that one's going to be in there for ball one, one ball and one strike. Come on, Josh, you got this. Big right-hander on the mound for the first time, like we said. Chambers save, Chambers looking forward to tomorrow, I think, now. Here comes now the pitch. Way ball Way, away, and, he's and gone. there goes Brandon Parrish down to second base. No throw. Well. I think there's two balls and one strike. Here comes down the next pitch. And it's a hard hit ball, and that will go foul ball. And now I'll bring the count two and two. That was 
a lot, the ball was hit hard and far, buddy. Yeah, we heard that crack all the way here. And <laughs> I'm going to tell you, that almost in the bathroom. That's how far he hit it. That was a hard Actually, hit Actually, it's further than the bathroom. That's The dumpster looked like down there. <laughs> well, it brings up two and two is the count now to Josh Vaughn. <clears throat> all right, Yancey winds up, and here comes down the pitch. And that's going to bring in there, full count. Ball high, as we hear Frank Walker tell us. So three full count, as you said, Mr. Hart. Three balls and two strikes. <laughs> here comes down the windup. Here comes down the pitch. And it's a hard hit ball into right, right center. And it falls in. Our runners, Josh will hold up at first, first base. Run advance yep. to the third. Brandon Parrish will run up. And now Peyton Lawson gets up. So we got him first and third. Yep. Nobody out. Peyton Lawson. In, um, With Cobra on deck. He is two for four. Peyton. And Peyton's had an excellent game today, by the way, I might add. Made a good play at first base. and Yes, he did. And he's, he's just been absolutely wonderful. And now here comes... <laughs> gonna, You're gonna talk about it again. Well, you got you got Peyton Lawson, and then you got Matt That's coming up. So I don't know what I would do. They're gonna bring Logan. I bet they're gonna bring. No, uh, I don't think so. Oh, what are they, they're gonna leave him out there? Yeah. Uh, Lily Watt wanted to come in though, not, but I would never. No. I would never bring Lily Watt Penn no. or Logan Powell in at this time. No way in the world when I got to go up against a Legion team tomorrow. Ain't no way. With only one inning with one inning left, one last ups to go, I would never do it. Well, that's why I pulled Matthew out the last time these two teams. I did that. I got Matthew out of there. Here comes the next pitch. And a hard hit ball. And that's going to go. You're going to try to turn two. No. that will bring up the first out. And that run will score. That run will score. And now here comes the Cobra. The Cobra will come up and see what he can do. And he's due. Yep, he is due. Well, Matthew Hart gets settled in. He's 0 for 3. Yep, here comes now the pitch. Here it comes. Out three times. Swing and a miss. And he looks like he might strike out again this time. Matthew is just don't have, I don't think he's, something's wrong. He just don't have the, the beat on the ball. So anyway, no balls and one strike to Hart. Here comes now the pitch. Winds up. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he did a. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, folks. Matthew's the best hitter in this league, and he hadn't hit diddly squat in a while. Anyway, here comes now the pitch. Oh, it hit ball, and it's good far. God, that ball went sky high. It's going to go foul, and that ball would have went at least 350, 400 feet. My God, what a hit that ball was. I don't know where the pitch was, but I know he don't want to put it back there, I can tell you. Matthew hit that ball, and they almost had to call the Blackstone Tower to, to fit that plane. Here comes the big, that was way inside. Matthew dodged that one. And Matthew got a hold of that one, and that thing went long gone, and well, it just it just was foul ball. I'm going to tell you right here, the thing of it is, this young man has never pitched before. If he was studying the game, he would know that Matthew had struck out three times on an off-speed pitch. And I don't know whether he knows enough about pitching or not to throw an well, off-speed. Well, I don't speed. think, I, actually, I don't think he does. I think it's just, you know, trying to so. get it over the plate. Yeah. But I can tell you, he don't want to put it where he put it before. Nope. That thing would have been a little bit uh, straight. That thing would have been long gone. Here comes down the next pitch to Matthew Hart. Ooh, hit and him. did he hit him? Yeah. And he hits him. Matthew Hart gets on base. Well, he'll take that as long as it's been for him to been on base here lately. He'll he'll get on. He want to get on base any kind of way. When you and you, when you're not swinging the bat good, sometimes you need something like that to you know. Oh, yeah. Get your jump started. Uh, I'm surprised they haven't tried to bunt the ball tonight. To um, Nobody would expect it. And, you know, he would uh, might hit it and bunt it and get on and get that monkey off his back, so to speak, About because you're right. He's in a slump at the plate, one like I have never seen. Well, that one, if that ball would have went straight, it, yeah. it would have ended his slump. But Matthew this year has been a very good consistent hitter in the last 
Well, I say game and a half. He has not really hit well. All right. Matthew jumps to Joy to about, oh, about, you know, 15, 20 feet. The problem is his runner's on second and third. Oh, he don't have a runner on third no. base. Uh -uh. Runner on first and second, but he still can't go can't nowhere. Can't go nowhere till he goes somewhere. One out. Here comes now the pitch. This one goes way back. And there goes the double steal. Runners will advance. And this is Inge, who has been hitting the ball very well tonight. He is three for four. Tom Inge been stroking the ball. Three balls and no strike. Opportunity for him to get two RBIs here. Here comes now the pitch. Swing, Swing and a miss. I'd be in there for strike one. Here comes, here comes the, the play. Steal. He's got it. Matthew will go to third base, and that's 15 to four in favor of the Rotary. And they still get the last lick, so no 10 run rule here. Okay. 11 runs up. Rotary's done very, very well in their backside of their lineup today. You got to hand it to them. You know, I don't know what they're thinking here with with this pitcher. Well, they're, they're, they're thinking they're, about. I think they're I, thinking about pulling him out. Yeah, they're going to have to. I, I don't want to shake the young man's confidence. Or like I said, this it's a learning experience, and um, it's obvious he's never pitched before. But not well, saying that he can't learn to be a better pitcher. I'm just saying you don't want to get him so down that he might not want to go back out there, and that and, and it can happen. So I think you're doing the right thing in pulling him here. Um, we've got. Number seven. Who's this guy? Who's number seven? Is that Nick Purnell? I believe it is. I believe it is. Nick Purnell, yes, sir. They don't want, well, I know what they're trying to do. I mean, and, and it's logical what they're trying to do. They're trying, they don't want to use Logan Powell at all. Or, well, of course, well, they can't you know, use, use Pumphrey no more. But uh, this is they can't use RD anymore. No, this is Nick Pinnell, fourth grader from Blackstone Primary School in Miss Dalton's room. He uh, fine young man. Substituted him quite often. You know he he's a good ball player in the minor leagues last year. He was all star for the minor leagues. So you know. Using my bag. Well, if anybody, by the way, wants a free baseball, come to Miller Park. Go back there where the sheds are. Way back in the back, <laughs> and somewhere back in those woods and area back there, you might find Matt's ball that went foul. Matter of fact, you might want to look on Main Street. It they may have may have gone all the way to Main Street. That was a hard hit ball. That's too bad that thing didn't go straight. All right, here comes the pitch, and that one's going to be in there. Here comes Matthews going to steal home. He does, and making it 16 to four. Here goes Edge down to third base. He'll stop there. And that's 16 to 4. And an ominous start to Nick Pinnell's pitching career here in the majors, but he's going to be okay. Here comes now the pitch from Nick. Actually, that was a pretty good that pitch right there. Pitch. Yeah, that was a pretty pitch. In there, ball one, one ball and one strike. And I know what they're doing, but, you know, it's, it's, it's tough for them to bring them in like this. It really is. Here comes the next pitch. That was a nice pitch, too. He just fouled it back. Well, but you never know what you might find out no, here, too. You know, that's right. I mean, yeah. he hasn't pitched at all, and he may come in and, and do great. And well, he, now is the time to do it. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to win not, this game. No, this one is basically This game over. is pretty much over with, and unless they had they, they mount the biggest comeback, you know, ever. Well, you know what they say, but. Swing and a miss. Oh, that was a good pitch. That was a beautiful pitch. Struck him out for his first strikeout of his career. Yep. All right, Nick. Good job. Now Nick. bring up Yende. Ayende. Ayende. Ayende Meredith. What kind of name is Ayende? Is that? Uh, it's mother to you. Okay. I, it's a cool name. I like it. I'll be in there for uh, ball number one. Rolls off your tongue. Ayende. You know, Ayende. Well, it's, that sounds like a uh, that sounds like a ball player. Ayende, no, Ayende, Ayende Meredith. Meredith. Doesn't that have a good ring to yeah, it? It does. It really does. Going I back like to that my PA name. Ayende Marinus. Yep, here comes the next pitch. That was going to be in there for strike number one. That was a nice pitch by Purnell. Purnell doesn't throw that fast, but look, he's not throwing them all over the no. place. He's just he's doing the right thing. He's not trying to overpower anything. He's just throwing the ball to the plate. 
He's playing catch with the catcher, and that's, you know. That one went down a little bit low yeah. in there for ball two. Two balls and one strike. Sort of like the movie, um, Kevin Costner movie. Just play catch. He's telling his dad, sees him, you know what Just play catch. Forget about it. Let's go play catch. And I've always said they try to throw the ball too hard. you got you got an infield and you got an outfield to help you. And last Just throw the ball a, over the plate. Last pitch with the ball, that brings up three balls and one strike. So here comes Jen Day. Now we'll have Justin Harvey will be on deck. Here comes the next pitch. And that's going to be strike number uh, that's strike number two, I guess. Yep. That brings the count to full in, oh, nevertheless. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Here comes now the pitch, wind up. That one's going to be high, walked and him. he walked him, and I thought he was going to get him on that one. Yeah, it's going to bring up Harvey, the left-hander. Not Liz. bad at bat, uh, I mean, for, for Pinnell. He just he got two strikes, and then he got full, and then he had to, you know lost him, but... Uh, like I said, in hard hit ball, and that one's going to drop in for maybe at least a double. What a hit by Justin, Justin Harvey. Harvey. And they're going to bring in, oh, they did bring in Meredith. They held oh, up God. Meredith. Oh, and they ain't got him yet. They ain't got him yet. Oh, God, you hate to see that. Oh, man, what a shot. Oh, They're going to give him credit for the double, but what a shot. I mean. Oh, God, you feel for Mr. Harvey on that one. Oh, anyway, we're going to the bottom half of the six. It's 16 to four. What a hit. I, 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 you hate to see that. Anyway, it's the Southside Sports Network. We'll be right back after these messages. Bottom of the six, last chance hotel. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today, 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew. The accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Back here at Miller Field, it is, well, 17 to 4. And boy, oh boy, uh, Rotary. Well, I, you know, the thing is, it's kind of deceiving what the score actually really is And at this part. Anyway, Josh Vaughn throws this one high in there for ball one. Okay, one, no pressure on Josh Bond. All he's got to do is throw his strikes. Here comes the next pitch. This one's going to be fouled back. Now will be in there for a strike. One ball and one strike. I believe this is Yancey. Yeah, I believe it's Yancey, too. Yancey, number 12, the one who pitched earlier in the night. Here he comes down the next pitch. Yeah. And this one's going to be a pop-up. They're going to try drop. to go back. Oh, no, great catch. The ball. And what a play. Inge making a great play from the second. I mean, he came all the way, basically went all the way into left field. What a play by Ben Inge. What a defensive play bring up that first down. He has played a outstanding. Boy, when it rolls, it, when it rolls your way, it rolls your way, I'm telling it? you. Wow. This is Drew Pumphrey. Now being here for ball number one. And I, 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 awesome play by Inge. It really was. All right, Josh, turn it up a notch, man. Good hitter. <laughs> All right, here comes down the pitch. Ooh. And he shot that one down there with everything he had. The problem is it was, was high, high. It was, high, high. It was, it was hit high. <laughs> but it's definitely right, getting there, I'm going to tell you. Two balls, no strikes. Here comes down the next pitch. Ooh. And this one's a hard hit ball. And he, he Ooh. oh, Thomas Parrish went right down now. and got it. Made a good play. But bad throw to first base, and Drew Pumphrey gets on first. Hard hit ball, though. That probably would give him a hit for that because um, that ball was hard hit. Drew, hit that one hard. He, he, um, here comes down the pitch. And this one's going to be a chop up. They're going to call it. And they get, they get the uh, call. Josh makes the play. He's out. The batter's out. 
So the batter is out. That would out. be uh, Logan Powell. The batter was yep. out. Pumphrey still at first base on the pop-up. Here comes now the pitch. And this is uh, Dalton. Yeah, that's Ryan Dalton. Ryan inside. Dalton at the back. Ryan Dalton. Here comes out of swing. the pitch. Swing and a miss. Now there goes the Drew. Look at him gambling down here. Look, this is the way he runs. He, is. he slides and he's safe and he's going for three. Into center field it goes. Pumphrey. And they're going to hold him up at third base. And you know, my question is, why didn't they just send him? I mean, you're down by, I don't know. All right, here comes the next pitch. Ryan because Dalton. You got, you, because you got someone five foot five foot eight waiting on you at the other end. Uh, good very 172 well, pounds. I wouldn't want to run into him. <laughs> one ball and one strike. Let's see what Josh can do now for the runner. Here comes out a pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike number three. And that That's is gonna going do to do it again. That's the ball game, folks. So it's 17 to 4. We'll be right back and talk about this in just a few minutes. We'll be right back right after this. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today, 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. And we're back here at Miller Field, and what a game this has been. Boy, I tell you one thing. It started out good all the way around from the Rotary. Matt Hart pitched a really, really good game. And uh, actually, until Matt, well, Matt was in there, with, uh, now, was it a no-hitter for Matt, or did? Shutout. Huh? Shutout. All right, so Matt hit a shutout. I didn't know if it was a no-hitter or not. Drew hit one he in hit. the first minute. Yeah, okay. Minute. Anyway. An important one for the Rotary. Rotary takes sole possession of first place. Uh, tomorrow, Chamber will go up against a very tough Legion team that's in crew. And then a crew team's also uh, VFW will come here and play the Lions here at Miller Field. We won't be broadcasting that game. Uh, but anyway, uh, see what happens tomorrow. And anyway, well, anyway, want to, uh, first of all, um, thank you very much for doing a good job color play-by-play -play. and of course uh, Robbie Hart he's getting ready to go to Germany so we won't see him for a couple of weeks and then on top Heather Hart uh, doing the camera so we really appreciate that so from the Southside Sports Radio Network we're going to call it tonight here at Miller Field again the final score is 17 to 4 Rotary over the chamber we will talk to you later good night, uh, everybody. Have, a, have a good one bye bye everybody